How's it going, everybody? Nikki D here, man. Come on, love yet again. Today we're out on the uh, Salt Marsh Trail. We're doing some birding. As you can tell, we're doing some birding. <laughs> uh, just flew the drone. So, yeah, just like I did last time, I think I did the last vlog where I was out at a beach and I said I mentioned the drone. We'll talk about, we'll just show that now. Uh, so, yeah, I should remember to edit this. So, yeah, just put some drone footage up. This is just what the trail looks like. Um, I think it looks really nice, honestly. And, like, you get the gulls and stuff in there, too, man. It, it, honestly. The GGI, man, I'm just saying, the GGI Mini Pro 3, dude, what a great little purchase that was. I've, uh, I've had, I mean, I've had the odd complaint, actually, but <laughs> I was going to say nothing but nice things to say. I was like, oh, that's a lie. Um, and then here's the uh, actual, where we're at. I mean, it's like, yeah, dude, just take a look. Like, look how nice this is, you know? Like, this is just, this is just what, what I've been doing for, like, the last, like, three hours. It's just walking this. Uh, it's a really nice, really nice spot. Anyway, point of the video. I want to talk about uh, Loblaws, actually, today. That's a weird one. So, um, not advocating, not kind of going against the grain. I'm just talking about it. But uh, recently, a subreddit, Reddit, you know, uh, the Redditors, uh, I'm one of them, <laughs> uh, has become quite, uh, quite vibrant, and it's the uh, the boycotting of Loblaws, basically. Uh, but I think it's called, like, Loblaws is out of control, something like that. And, uh, man, I tell you, it's, uh, it's wild. So, if you're not aware, you lived under a rock. Uh, definitely, it's a big thing in the news and all that right now. Anyway, but Loblaws, so, you know, like, your superstore, your no-frills, right, Canadian... Uh, Canadian grocer, right? Out of control, okay? Now, this is what people are saying. I think a lot of places are out of control, but I mean, I don't know why. They're really on, uh, but they're really on law laws as of late. And honestly, yeah, it's it's a bit much. It's a bit heinous, you know? Um, also, just uh, slightly off topic, but I was just gonna say as well, uh, I know, I, so before this video, you guys, if you're uh, regulars on the channel, you'll see that I was posting videos with the Sony. So like sitting at home in the chair and good quality. Uh, so these are still gonna happen, the outdoor videos. It's just, those are gonna be primarily how I film them at home. That's all that is, so. I just, I know I said that in the video. I was like, oh, I'm gonna, repl I'm just not gonna do any more walking vlogs. I'm like, nah, it's, it's not true. Um, anyway, but yeah, like I was saying, so th that's that's the thing, man. The, the prices, oof, the brightness, oof. The prices are insane. Um, you know, a lot of the items are disappearing as well, like the no-name, right? So, like, your no-name brands are disappearing, uh, you know, and now they're going, like, it's all going to be brand name, which I've been seeing slowly. A lot of stuff I used to buy, I cannot get no-name anymore. They just, like, literally don't have it. And obviously, like, like it's common sense. You know, it was cheaper. How's the brightness that way? Like, how, look, look how heinous that is, right? Look, how, look at that. All right. But, yeah, no, I mean, oof. Just one second here. But yeah, no, the prices were, yeah, the prices were are heinous, uh, and they're getting worse. The recent one there, I, I might edit this, I don't know uh, how much I want to do, but if I do, I'll put it up, like, now. There's, like, plexiglass now, like, blocking you in, in the grocery. So, like, basically, you enter in, like, through the little corral with a cart, whatever, like, the little gate, right? You, you walk in. So, you walk in there. It's all glassed all around, right? Like, you're surrounded there. The self-checkouts are now uh, under 25 items only with the self-pay. So I still think that's hilarious that you got to walk around, get everything yourself, scan it yourself, code, put the codes in, whatever, you know, pay for it yourself, bag it yourself. Like you just, I, you know, it's just, it's honestly, it's actually ridiculous that you have to do all of that. Now it's 25 items. Um, you can't scan like multiple items. It's just a bunch of stuff. You can't scan multiple items at once. So what I would do, like if I had Katie, right? I had four boxes of craft Dinner. As I would just take one box and scan it four times, right? It's the same barcode, same UPC. So you're just, or whatever it is there. So you're just, you know, beep, beep, beep. And you got four boxes. Can't do that. So you got to scan one, put it on a tray to the right, wait, scan another, put it on the tray to the right. And if you don't do that, it won't register. So you can't scan anything. Nothing will work. And then you have to wait for an attendant to come over and hit a button and then for you to do it again. And I'm telling you, like, the amount of people, inclu including myself, that didn't know that, like, that change went into effect. And, like, we're just sitting there, like, it's just just struggling. Because um, cause you just don't know, right? So you're hitting a button, then nothing works. And you're like, okay, why is that not happening? And it doesn't tell you anything, so you're just sitting there. Uh, and it's, like, honestly, it's just so confusing. And you're like, okay, well, why can't I just scan the item, you know? Um, 
Another one they're doing now is they're locking grocery carts. I don't even know how you're doing that, honestly. Like, what technology exists? But uh, apparently, and I've been hearing it, I haven't had it happen, that uh, you'll be, like, walking out with your cart, and the wheels will, like, seize. Like, they won't move anymore. So you're like, oh, like, what, what, you know, what the heck? And someone will have to come over, and, like, they'll enable the wheels, like, so they don't lock in place. And that means they can come over, and they, like, check your items. And apparently a lot of people, when that happens... So I'm not surprised on anybody, but I'm not surprised by the pettiness is they, they just return everything. <laughs> but like, it's like a random check or something. Like I could get like Costco. That was the point. Like they've done that the whole time. Like that you, you go up to the gate and you're like, here you go. But just to like lock the steering wheel on somebody. All right. But like I was saying, see, it's just crazy, man. It's uh, it's crazy. It's all this little stuff that's adding up that people are just getting really frustrated over, you know, and not to mention, like I said, the price gouging is insane. Um, you know, there was these, uh, honestly, I, they, they weren't spectacular, but it was like this frozen box of like butter chicken. You just stick her in the oven, you got butter chicken in half an hour or 20 minutes or whatever it was, right? Like just no effort, right? You just toss one of them and it was good, right? And it was three for $9.99. And one of them now is like $8.99 or something. It was ridiculous. I saw it the other day and the box is smaller. Like they literally shrunk the box and made the price higher than what I used to pay for it. So like, I just don't do it. Like I just make it. I mean, maybe in a good, maybe it's a good way, like in kind of like an oxymoron, like it's actually not a bad way because maybe it'll, it'll like force people to just start making their own meals. I don't know. It's my thought process on it. That was kind of weird. I just got a nod from a girl on a bike. Just bike by there. Like girls don't nod. It's guys that nod. It's a guy thing. I'm down with it, but I'm questioning. <laughs> That'll happen. So I don't know, but uh, yeah, so why I bring it up, why, I, why I'm talking about it anyway. So I'm a big Loblaw shopper, and I mean, I'm getting frustrated, honestly, a lot uh, as of late. But it's interesting to see this movement. Apparently they're doing it in May, um, where they're basically like, people are just gonna stop shopping there like May 1st. Like they're just like, I'm done. They're just gonna start going to Sobeys or, or independent grocers or whatever, right? Like just anywhere. Um, I know I mean like independent, I don't mean like literally the shop independent. But I mean, like, just like, you know, local shops, like, I don't know, Gateway or something. They're going to switch it up. So it's interesting, you know. We're getting to a point, guys. Like, you know, it's a, it's a constant conversation. I have it work all the time. Like, people are always just complaining about the prices of everything. And it's like, man, like, it's not getting cheaper. Like, gas is not getting cheaper, you know. <laughs> like, people always get mad. Like, you try to charge them with, like, gas money, like, nowadays. And it's like, guys, like, I, I'm, I'm paying, like, a ridiculous sum of money you know, to fill that tank of gas. I mean, the least you can do is toss a toonie, right? Just saying. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the walking videos. More to come, you know? All right. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace. Yo, thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, if you want to check out my Instagram here, I do a little bit of photography on the side. Uh, be sure to check it out. Nick Daniel 65 uh, Instagram.com. Uh, you can feel free to message me on there if you got any video ideas. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Take it easy. Cheers.